Hello, Colonial Bindery students. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to learn this beautiful decorative technique called headbanding. So let's get started. Once you've selected your desired string colors, secure them together by tying them in a knot. Trim the excess thread. Once you've threaded your needle, starting from the left, pierce the signature through the center fold about an inch down the spine. Pierce it again through the same hole to create a loop. Insert your cord through your loop and pull. Make sure you've prepped it already by coating it with the PVA glue and have allowed it to dry. Pull the first thread over the cord, hold it in place, and with the second thread, cross it over the first and loop it over the cord two times. Continuing to hold the cord and thread in place, pierce the spine of the signature where your headbanding currently ends. This can be a little tricky, I know from experience, but stick with it and you'll get it. I have confidence in you. Pull your needle through the spine, pull it back over the cord, and take the second thread, crossing it over the first and looping it under and over your cord twice. Cross your needle thread over the second thread and pierce it through the spine of the next signature and repeat. When you're at the last signature, create a cattle stitch to secure all the work you've done. And voila, you're on your way to your newly hand-bound, hand-head-banded book. I love how you can see the alternating colors and the crisscrossing. Beautiful work, guys. Well done. We thank you for taking this Colonial Bindery Workshop. Happy bookbinding!